team been going for about 25 minutes through the city the plan for today is to walk eight miles not very far but i do have accommodation booked and halfway through the day we're walking through a very beautiful park with a lake so i'm going to stop there all i need to do is go to the supermarket pick up some food for lunch although i'm struggling with food in terms of ugh, like nothing is appealing i'm not hungry for anything i'm not like it's not exciting me i'm just really not that interested in eating at the moment which is very unlike me i really like my food but just not really just not feeling it everything's making me go Bleh. yeah i feel oh, i just feel really flat and unmotivated and tired and fatigued and yeah i don't feel in a great space Hopefully after lots more sleep, I'll be feeling um, a little bit better. Fingers crossed. into a ball and try and get warm somewhere because I'm absolutely freezing like oh. my plan was to hang out at the park and sunbathe by the lake it was going to be beautiful however it's a lot colder <laughs> a lot cooler than it has been for the past couple of days plus we've got people doing work which is obviously awesome love that but it's very very noisy this is not looking good for a relaxing little mid-morning snooze. is going. That is the alberge that I'm staying at. I made it, which is good. Okay. 6.20 in the morning. Do I want to be up this early? No. Do I like being up this early? No. Why am I up this early? Because I haven't slept all night because of the snorers. Oh, I just don't know what's happening anymore. I just can't cope. The snoring is just killing me. It's just unbelievable. The guy next to me, like I was banging on the side, <coughs> side of the bed and he'd stop for like maybe 20 minutes. I'm like, oh, bliss heaven. Try to go to sleep just as my eyes start closing I'm heading off into dream world it starts up again oh so anyway this is why I'm walking at 6 20 in the morning been awake since 5 20 I thought 5 20 was maybe a bit a little bit earlier to start walking wake at four o'clock wake at three o'clock wake at two o'clock wake at one o'clock wake at 12 o'clock ah oh, snorers on the Camino what's your biggest challenge there not sleeping I'm being weird so let's chat about it walking through uh, so I like uh, personal space personal boundaries I don't really like people that close to me unless I like really know them and so walking through the city walking through the town when I first started walked past a group of pilgrims 
And then as I was walking on, someone was walking behind me pretty close. I was thinking, oh, okay, that's, that's odd. They could walk on the other side of the street, but you know, fine, whatever. So I crossed over to the side and they're still sort of there. And I, was like, I felt a bit uncomfortable. So I was like, do you know what? I'll stop and take a photo. So I stopped. Uh, they stopped because I took my photo. So I thought, hmm, okay, that's weird. Carried on walking again. And I thought, okay, let's just see. So I stopped again to take a photo the other way. They stopped again, which I find really weird. And so I was just like, okay, don't stress it. Carried on walking. And then I spoke to them. I was like, oh, you know, do you want to, are you wanting to walk with me? Um, <coughs> but they didn't speak English that well. And I'm obviously rubbish with languages. And so we weren't really able to communicate. So I was like, okay, okay, no problem, no problem. But I just find it very, very uncomfortable. So now, now I'm having to up my pace to try and get some distance between us. Oh, I sound really antisocial, don't I? Maybe I am a little bit. Just had a little look on the old Google for the municipal alberge, which should just be down this road. This looks like it. Alberge. What does the sign say? Oh, alberge closed for works. Pilgrims go to Front Run Municipal Sports Gym, where you can stay. It opens at 4 p.m. Where's the sports gym? Oh, up there. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. One of the very cool things about doing the Camino is walking past these incredible buildings. You can see the amazing artwork and history and architecture. Yeah, stunning. <laughs> So I've been waiting over 10 minutes. I've rung the doorbell again, so it doesn't seem anyone is coming. And I was just like hanging out at the front, having a look. And that sign is there. So do we think that they are full for tonight? Or would this sign go out front? I don't know. They are full. Maybe I'll just carry on walking and see what other, see what other alberges pop up. The next town is three miles away, so it should probably take me about an hour, hour ten, something like that.
see that very very cute little town in the distance that is where we're heading about 0.6 of a mile away uh, 14 and a half miles today so keep going keeping fingers crossed the wind is picking up it is really wanting to rain so please have a bed for me omg 60 that is a good number so <laughs> um i did i want to feel positive oh i don't know i don't want to get my hopes up and then to be for them to be dashed so we'll just keep our fingers crossed keep your fingers crossed with me let's see how we get on Twelve euro, two a, two. Welcome to the bedroom. Oh my god, it's so cold. <coughs> so I've just got changed into my leggings. Put my other top on, getting warm. Got my bed stuff out. Pretty happy. Now I just need to wait and see who my roommate is going to be. I've walked around the supermarket three times and I'm still struggling. I don't know what I feel like. I'm not. I don't want chips. I don't want chocolate. <sighs> And also being gluten and dairy free is really difficult because I don't really know what to eat and I don't really know what I fancy. The only thing I've come across is Nutella, which um, I'm sure has dairy in. Oh, and then I quite like those wafers. I would eat the wafers, but they'll have gluten in, wheat in. Oh, this is so difficult. No idea what to eat at all. Mm -hmm. 